And finally, new rule, Democrats must stop talking about playing as dirty as the Republicans and actually start doing it. Mm. Ever... <laughs> Ever since Democrats lost the 2016 election, there's been a backlash to the when they go low, we go high approach. I mean, when they go low, we got to do whatever we have to do. When they go low, we go high. I think the Democrats have to go a little lower now. When they go low, we kick them. <laughs> yeah, it's a nice applause line, but they never say what exactly it is we should do. Just, we got to fight dirty. Okay, but how? Typical Democrats bringing a notion to a gunfight. <laughs> Republicans always have dirty tricksters on their payroll, like Igor and Lev. <laughs> Roger Stone, Lee Atwater, Karl Rove, Giuliani. Well, we're gonna need some reptilian scumbags of our own. <laughs> Good Democrats who are willing to stand up and do the wrong thing. <laughs> and I know just the guy. You used to love him. Michael Avenatti, come on down! <laughs> Michael, in the brief time we've come to know you, it turns out that you are a dirty, filthy, amoral, unscrupulous, cheating, lying, stealing, low-life lawyer motherfucker, and your party needs you. <laughs> <laughs> but he's in prison, so let me get the ball rolling. <laughs> First off, let's target Trump's brain. That's an old dirty trick of theirs. In 2014, Karl Rove suggested Hillary might have suffered a traumatic head injury from a fall, and she had to go on ABC News and assure Diane Sawyer that her brain still worked. <laughs> She's been dying in the conservative-run tabloids for years. She stumbled once getting into a car, and Fox News started running her obituary. <laughs> Of course, Hillary was and is fine. Meanwhile, Trump is a neurological mess. Yes. But the Democrats are too scared to make an issue of it, when actually, it would cut together really well as a campaign ad. And let me begin by wishing you a beautiful like, look. There's one thing people who've known Donald Trump for a long time all say. He's not the same person he was. And then they announced there was no buys. Now, Democrats decided to shield and shelter criminal... Look, look, look. The worry that I have is that maybe he's having small strokes. Sometimes he simply can't speak. An ominous, really an, an ominous... What must be going on in his mind? I hope they now go and take a look at the oranges, or the oranges of the uh, uh, investigation. The oranges how it started. No one wishes ill health on the president, but a country needs a leader to be there. God bless the United States. A leader who's all there. As Melania often says to Donald, that wasn't so hard. <laughs> Make that go viral, would you? Because the Democrats should really be running that for real. Next thing we have to do is give Trump a taste of his own medicine. At the second debate with Hillary in 2016, he went there and put three of Bill Clinton's sex accusers in the audience. Trump has 25 accusers. <laughs> They could fill the entire gallery at the debates, all with matching pussy hats. <laughs> and Stormy Daniels, who famously said Trump's penis was short with a giant head, a mushroom dick, if you will. <laughs> well, why can't she be sitting right in front picking mushrooms off of a pizza? <laughs> Donald Trump is not a hard man to drive crazy. The State of the Union coming up on Tuesday. Supposed to be his big victory lap. Okay, so you know he's gonna go full crackhead and start... 
gloating and lying his ass off, mm -hmm. that would be a good time to remember Republicans set this precedent. The reforms I'm proposing would not apply to those who are here illegal. They can say, you lie to Obama, we can't yell, you lie at the guy who lies like raccoons eat trash. <laughs> <laughs> Not only should the Democrats in the hall shout it out, everybody at home should, too. Let's practice it now. I'll be Trump at the State of the <laughs> Union. <laughs> the Democrats tried to impeach me over a perfect call. <laughs> I was the person who saved pre-existing conditions. <laughs> I only watch real time accidentally. This 2020 election is destined to be the dirtiest, rat fuckingest one ever, especially when Republicans start using footage like this. President Trump is a total and complete dipshit. <laughs> okay, that would be damning, but of course he never said it. That's what's called a deep fake. Obama's face and voice manipulated digitally to make it look like he's speaking words that in reality never came out of his mouth. It's the future of sleazy American political advertising. So let's get in on it now. <laughs> and I know, I know just what our first deep fake video should be. The P-tape. <laughs> Remember the P-tape? The infamous recording of Trump being entertained by two urinating hookers in Moscow? Well, we found it. Would you like to see it? <laughs> Roll them. <laughs> Thank you, love. Now, go get rid of that ambassador, like I told you. Okay, girls, you know why you're here. Make it rain. <laughs> Come on, girls, more theme. I'm done with some, and I like everything covered in gold. That's right, all over the Bible, like I told you. You're welcome. As always, feel free to repost, like, and subscribe.